So you pull out your phone to take a photo, you tap the button and boom, you have a picture. But what's actually happening inside? The magic starts with something called a camera sensor. Think of it as the digital version of film from an old school camera. It's a small chip, usually a rectangle. It's covered in millions of tiny light sensitive dots. Those are called photosites. Those are also what we call pixels. When you point your camera, light travels through the lens. That light hits the sensor. Each tiny dot captures a small piece of the overall image. This sensor is arguably the single most important part of any digital camera. For example, a huge professional rig, or the tiny camera on the front of your smartphone. The quality of the sensor directly impacts the quality of your final photo. A bigger sensor can hold larger pixels. Larger pixels collect more light. More light equals a cleaner, brighter image. Back in the early days of smartphones, camera quality was okay at best. Photos were often blurry, grainy, and struggled badly in anything but perfect bright sunlight. Then, around 2011, Sony introduced the first of its IMX series sensors, the IMX-135. This wasn't just another sensor, it was a statement. It featured a new technology called a stacked CMOS design. Before this, all the parts of a sensor, the pixels and the circuits that process the signal, were on the same level. Sony's stacked design was brilliant in its simplicity. They separated the sensor into two layers, or wafers. The top layer was dedicated entirely to the pixels, the part that actually sees the light. The bottom layer held all the processing circuits. By stacking them, Sony freed up a ton of surface area on the top layer, allowing them to make the pixels bigger and more effective at capturing light. This immediately resulted in photos that were cleaner, had better color, and showed significantly less noise in low-light conditions. This breakthrough was a huge deal. Suddenly, smartphones had a path to capturing images that could rival dedicated point-and-shoot cameras. The IMX-135 and the sensors that followed it quickly became the gold standard in the mobile industry. After the success of their first stacked sensors, Sony didn't slow down. They went into a cycle of constant improvement, making their IMX sensors better with each generation. One of the biggest trends was, quite literally, making the sensors bigger. 1 over 2.3 inch, 1 over 1.7 inch, 1 inch type sensors and flagship phones. A larger sensor area allows for larger pixels, which is the key to capturing more light. This is why modern smartphones have such impressive low light and night mode capabilities compared to phones from just 5 or 6 years ago. But it wasn't just about size. Sony got smarter with the technology on the chip itself. They introduced features like on-chip phase detection autofocus or PDAF. This put special autofocus pixels directly onto the sensor, enabling near-instant focus just like a high-end mirrorless camera. Then came the megapixel race, but with a twist.